chat or my computer. It might be just that my computer's slow or something like that. So timer, timer, come on. It's going. Is it? All right. It doesn't show up on my screen. Yeah. So, all right. Welcome to Bracket Bash of the podcast. We take a bracket of 32, 64, 128 or more, and banter our way down to a winner. I am Santa's third ho this week, and I'm also your host. And <laughs> This is, yes, Jessica, the best looking bastard, <laughs> Jeremy. Yes, yes. Welcome back to hear your ODB once again. Your old dirty bastard is back better than ever. And yes, Freddie is saying a third ho. I got the first two hoes waiting for me inside. So let's get this shit on the road because, baby, it's not that cold outside, but I'm going to keep me inside somehow. So fuck right <laughs> up the road. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I put it over there to fuck Freddy with later. Yep. Good to know. But let's get this shit going, Freddy, because I want to go kill Rudolph. And with the exception of myself and Jeremy, we, the rest of the show is included all female cast this week, starting with Andy, returning guest. Me. I'm Andy. That's me. I'm one half of Don't Call Me Lady. I guess female will be okay, but Don't Call Me Lady. <laughs> And then this is Hollis. Hey, I'm the other half of Don't Call Me Lady, and uh, I'm real nice, but I got some very unimportant polarizing views to share today. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and those real definitely will will be coming up. Uh, other than that, uh, Sharon is with us today. How are you doing there, dear? I'm good. I'm a temporary occasional bastard. And uh, delighted to be uh, joining this particular show where I know every song that we're going to be ranking except for one. And I dare you to guess. I, you'll easily figure out which one that is. Um, and I'm in Sweden. Hence the Viking Diaries where I'm all over the web on, as the Viking Diaries. So great to be here. And to meet all of you. I Well, I know Jeremy and I, I know... <laughs> I know our host. I, I, I have two guesses on that one. It's either uh, Hard Candy Christmas, which is kind of an off-the-wall guess, or probably uh, Christmas in the Hollis. Boom! I did not know Christmas in the Hollis. I, I know Hard Candy Christmas by heart. I'm a, I'm a big go. Dolly Parton that fan. My, that was my guess. Lindy, Other than that, Lindy, last Lindy, but certainly Lindy, not least, we Hollis, have Harley. Like <laughs> we... We have Harley, who's originally in comments, but she is gracing with her with us with her presence today. How are you doing there, there, dear? I'm doing good. How is everyone else doing today? And we are the bastards running this thing. I'm glad to have you guys here this week. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, we're probably going to be having technical difficulties with this show. I finally got myself a laptop after a year of people telling me to. And we're having issues. So oh. sorry about that. From the yeah, start. every so often you sound way, like every so often you sound like a bug or something just skipping through. Like, no, <laughs> <I'm a> robot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's my normal. That's a normalness is happening. in comments tell me to fuck off as I was starting that one off. Speaking of, we have rules on the show. That's number one. Uh, we have the entire fuck you, Freddy rule. There's been times during this show that you're not going to like me and you're not going to like each other. Yeah, I can take it. So go ahead and tell me to fuck off. The more creative, the better. There's going to be a show in the next month. It's about a half hour long, so a little over half hour long so far. Uh, people are going to fuck off. It's going to be a special show released on January 20th, which is my birthday. It's my, my birthday gift that I am giving to you guys. Rule number two is... Um, of course, the blowing your load at the final swing. We vote round robin <laughs> style on here as always. So, uh, if you are one of the first people to go and don't want to be one of the first people to go, you blow your load, or you use your final swing, and that means you're going last. If somebody else blows their load after you, you are no longer going last. You're going directly before them, so on and so forth. And the third and newish rule that we're doing. In fact, Andy hasn't had a chance to, to do this yet. Uh, I don't think Sharon has either, actually. It's still your vote. 
one Steal time per show up <laughs> up to including <laughs> the quarterfinals. You are allowed to steal one person's vote on your turn. Okay. So uh, use it wisely. And there's that one. This week, we're it, it's Christmas time. It's the holiday season. Uh, how happy holidays to you guys. This week, though, we are dedicating ourselves to the Christmas season. Everybody out there celebrating uh, other holidays, including Hanukkah. Hanukkah just started yesterday. Uh, as we are recording. So happy Hanukkah to you guys. Uh, it's Christmas, though, and we're talking about Christmas songs. So it is uh, myself, Jess, Jeremy, Andy, Hollis, Sharon, and Harley. In that lineup, I will not be changing up the screen because uh, uh, every time I've done that so far, it's kicked me off the screen. And again, <laughs> technical difficulties. So please, uh, I'm sorry. It just fucking happens. All right. So I start this one off. Is it? The Bing Crosby song Melody Mama or Maka, which is really fucking fantastic. I love this song, I just can't pronounce it. Or All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Um, I hate this matchup for one simple fucking reason. I really, really want to, to vote for what I'm gonna start calling the the Hawaiian Christmas song. Okay. Because I cannot stand for the Mariah Carey version of All I Want for Christmas. Unfortunately, I cannot pronounce what is, for me, known as the Hawaiian Christmas song. <laughs> <laughs> and it pisses me off. So uh, I'm going to vote for the Hawaiian Christmas song on this one. And I will be calling it the Hawaiian Christmas song. If you guys want to pronounce the song, you are more than welcome to just to show me up. I don't care. Uh, other than that, it gets my vote. Jess, is it All I Want for Christmas or the Hawaiian Christmas song? I'm going with All I Want for Christmas. Is your vote. Jeremy? See, I'm actually happy Jess is here for this uh, vote because she's the only one in this group that's going to get this because it's a callback because I am 100% going for all I want for Christmas is you, Frederick. <laughs> Call back. <laughs> I how, much, my how, much singing, how much singing can we do before we get into some kind of, you know, ASCAP violations or whatever? <laughs> 30 seconds. I think 30 it's seconds 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Have okay, perfect. Uh, if you have the background music, if you can completely butcher a song and they don't want to claim it, I think. Oh, okay, well, perfect. That, well, I'm not playing any background music. The, the entire Jeremy Ness butchering that song does not really go, go against it. I don't he think. He doesn't. Andy, though. I got my point uh, across. Who, <laughs> who, who <laughs> does have a good voice? Is it all I want for Christmas or the Hawaiian Christmas song? I'm I'm kind of torn on that one because the I, I sing all I want for Christmas Mariah Carey style and I know that song like note for note and second by second and all the little extra bell whistles and jingles because I am not normal and I <laughs> you know listen to it like five thousand times every holiday season because it plays everywhere. So it's like it's kind of definitely one of my most favorite songs to hate, and I love it a lot at the same time. But it's real. I, but the, it's a Hawaiian Christmas song. I don't know. Do you have an opinion? I do. Oh, I knew you would have an opinion. Okay, I don't. I don't want to know. Your <laughs> I'm gonna go with Mariah Carey. She's got my vote. <laughs> Oh yeah. So like Get to vote, mean, Hollis. Bing Crosby, uh I Bing Crosby and Nat King Cole have like basically a monopoly on any good Christmas music. Um so like I, I love me some Bing Crosby, especially around this time of year. Um also the Andrews sisters, yes, slay. Um and then like but the Mariah Carey version, it's not even the best Christmas song with that title. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. I agree with it. All I Want for Christmas is You by Vince Vance and the Valiants. If you don't know the song, look it up. It's amazing. 
uh, better. I think way it's better. On the so it's it's definitely um definitely gotta be the uh, the Hawaii the Hawaii Malekalikimaka. <laughs> there it is. I, I can't. Whoop. I can't fucking oh, sure. pronounce it. I've tried. I mean, you disagree. Uh, Sharon, Whoop. Hawaiian Christmas song or all I want for Christmas is you. Usually. Well, you know, Mariah is kind of a, a a one of the few modern Christmas classics. I'd have to say it's on its way to that, and I. I just want everyone to know that my Mariah Carey All I Want for Christmas 2023 cherry was actually popped on November 22nd, which is way too damn early to have to hear that song. <laughs> Especially when I'm in friggin' Sweden, where, I mean, come on. It was a colleague that played it at the office. So I mean, for that a, a musical hymen that grows back yearly, I love it. I like it. <laughs> it it is, and that in the case of that, it certainly is. So I'm gonna have to go with <laughs> just because of that, and I'm so glad that got the laugh. I was hoping that'd get a laugh. I'm gonna go with Melikalikimaka is the word we say. The Hawaiian Christmas song just for you, Santa's third ho. <laughs> <laughs> It gets a vote. It's a tie-breaking decision coming down to Harley. All I want for Christmas or the Hawaiian Christmas song. Okay, so in my opinion, all I want for Christmas is completely overrated. When Christmas season starts, Mariah Carey's screech that they always play, that screech. It's not a normal song. It's a screech that she does. And it's completely overrated. So I'm going to have to go with the Hawaiian Christmas song. The tie-breaking vote. She's a fantasy, goddammit. She's a fantasy. Mariah Carey kicked out in the first round, the first vote. Uh, ironically Christmas enough, vote I'm vote. surprised it went to a vote. Uh, I, I, I really am. I'm just surprised it went to a split vote because I... I would have gone seven to zero for the Hawaiian Christmas song. <laughs> with me. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes, turn this off. Is it Rocking Around the Christmas Tree by Brenda Lee or Hard Candy Christmas by Dolly Parton? I like Dolly Parton, but I love Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. So I'm going to go with that one. It gets Especially, it's vote, funny uh, listening to my. It's funny listening to my daughter try singing that song because she has no idea what the lyrics are. It gets a vote, though. Jeremy, is it rocking around the Christmas tree or hard candy Christmas? Yeah. Dolly Parton and the word hard should go together, but not for that song. So I 100% am going to am gonna go for a rocking around the Christmas tree, you know, rocking out with your cock out around the Christmas tree. is always fun on Christmas Eve when the kids are asleep, so. It it gets a vote, Andy. I'm mind blown at Jeremy's logic. I'm just like struck at the way you make this. <laughs> must be so much fun. Um, <laughs> it is. I mean, to it, live in that brain. I mean, as long as you're blown, I'm perfectly okay with it. <laughs> um, I'm definitely gonna go with Hard Candy Christmas. I love that song. Gives about Hollis. Yes. Uh, give me melancholy Christmas vibes any day. Because I feel like, do you really get Christmas if you don't understand why Christmas is a little sad? So, like, hard candy Christmas, definitely. <laughs> also, Dolly, yes. <laughs> I mean, it, the, birth, the birth of a fake religion does make me a little melancholy on Christmas, just saying, but. Exactly. Yeah. You get it. Uh, Let's fake religions Karen, together. Like, Christmas, the Christmas tree. I'll be fine and dandy, Lord. It's like a hard candy Christmas. I'm barely getting, getting through. Okay, n yes, it's it's Dolly for me all the way. What is a Dolly hard candy all, Christmas? Dolly I don't know all the way. What means for that even? It means uh, instead of getting chocolates and mints and all the good shit, all you got was hard candy because exactly. You broke. It's Think of a hard yeah, candy yeah. Halloween. It'd be just Hello. as tragic. These are amazing. So these are amazing. And they're so. cheap, though. But they're real they're cheap. Also super cheap. 
Yeah. That's the point. It's a, it's a <laughs> soft candy. It's, so that's it's all a soft candy it's like snake and stuff candy. like that, that, that you have to have to do that. Uh, uh, okay, Chris Neely is in comments right now. She was only 13 when she made that song. Uh, I'm assuming what? that's Dolly Parton uh, because Brenda Lee is on the other side too. I'm not not going to hurt them about that. But uh, back uh, back to retro reviews going for Rock Around the Christmas Tree. Harley, Hard Candy Christmas or Rock Around the Christmas Tree? Hard Candy Christmas because Dolly Parton's a legend. Yes. So is Brenda Lee. Yes, but yeah. it's 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 Dolly um, Parton. I'm gonna go. I, 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 I'm 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 sorry. Back to retro. Really, okay. I'm gonna go it. for hard candy Christmas as well. It, it's uh, I agree with the entire melancholiness. Uh, majority of Christmas songs are upbeat and everything else, and I super love that. But there's the entire thing where you can't have good without the bad. The majority of the time. And you have to go through other people's lives to really uh, understand some of the hardship. And Chris Christmas, ironically enough, is one of the hardest times of the year for a lot of people. Not only money-wise, but also mental health-wise and stuff like that. So I'm really glad that uh, something with a little bit of sadness is, is on this bracket. So Hard Candy Christmas goes 5-2 to two on that one. Jeremy starts this one off. Is it uh, Baby Please Come Home by Darlene Love? Or Silent Light by Pentatonix. See, see, if it was Silent Night by almost any other artist, it might have had a chance. But Pentatonix makes me want to drink gin and tonics. So I 100%. I like Pentatonix. Cheers. Ah, uh, fucking uh, what do you call? Jeremy it? doesn't uh, like good harmonies and rhythm, obviously. I I love good harmonies and rhythm. Jeremy like doesn't like human things. joy. <laughs> I like I like I like boys to men. Thank you, but I will have. I I mean I don't I don't. What was the other one? Please get him home, my darling love. Oh yeah, baby, please come home all fucking day. Because you know, please, please come home to come at home. It makes rhyming sense right there. I wrote a fucking song. Someone market it. Baby, please come home. Gets a vote on that one. Andy, is it baby? Please come home or Silent Night? <laughs> Gotta wag the finger too, do the Christina wag. <laughs> that song is everything. Like like dancing around in the kitchen with a spatula for a microphone, everything for Christmas. Baby, please come home. One hundred percent. Chris Neely is right on this one. Um, Pentatonix is, is is absolutely fantastic. They have some of the best vocals I've seen. Short of a band called Home Free. If you ever had a chance to check them out, they're well, well worth a look. Uh, that was Baby Please Come Home, though, I'm assuming. On that yes. one, Andy? Okay. They Hollis. don't have as good voices as Adam Devine. I will say that. They don't have as good voices as Adam Devine. Eh. Um, I love a good... Uh... I love a good early R and B moment. So, like, yeah, yeah, baby, please come home. I don't have much of another uh, of an opinion otherwise, but I, I'll choose that one. Sharon, we don't want to Oh, it's now had you had you had you pitted Pentatonix against U 2s version of Baby, Please Come Home. There, this would have been a tough vote for me because I love U 2s version of Baby, Please Come Home. Um, but since it's not U two. And I love me some harmonies and some acapella. I'm going to have to go with pentatonics. And if I can recommend another uh, acapella group, since Freddie did so, there's a group called Voctive that is amazing. Mm -hmm. And if you uh, get a chance, if you like acapella choral singing, check them out. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> Dude, there's a whole bunch of different music stuff I'd like to recommend. Um, uh, Jukebox. Box. Um, oh yes, postmodern. Oh, postmodern jukebox. Yeah, postmodern jukebox is like one of my. Uh, there's a song that they have. They did a cover of uh, "Mad Mad 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 World." Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I love that one. That is version. Even of that song that I've ever heard. If you ever, if you ever want a song to, um, um, quote unquote, unalive yourself to, that is probably the best option. Really? Wow. 
Yeah. It's still it's still a really, really good song. Uh, there's others that would qualify for that. But Harley, uh, on that note, baby, please come home or Silent Night. Well, I'm going to give my vote to my fellow mod squatter back to the retro. And I'm going to say, baby, please come home. With that gets the win. I'm going to go for Silent Night on this one. It's a classic song. Um, mm -hmm. Baby, please come home. It's one of the few songs that were on my list that I had to look up who it was sang by. Like the original. Silent Night had, no, no. Well, the the person who's singing on on this list. Uh, I, okay. I, I had to look it up. Pinnit is such a unique voice, uh, voices, but uh, combined voice uh, that they're hard to just not know who the hell they are, unless you just absolutely don't know who the hell they are. So they will be getting my votes <laughs> on this one. Yes. Unless you live under a Silent rock. Night. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Silent Night for nostalgia reasons. The Good Night when Q's not home. Three. Yeah, totally. Baby, please come home. Moves on to the next round. Andy starts us off. Um, <laughs> Is it, is it Last Christmas by Wham, or Do You Hear What I Hear by Whitney Houston? Oh. Okay, I think Do You Hear What I Hear is kind of a boring song, but I love Whitney Houston, and Whitney Houston's voice uh -huh. is fucking gold on that track, and it's just perfect and it's the only time i've ever listened to that song all the way through was when i listened to whitney houston sing it so, so. but aside from that it's not the kind of song i listen to all the time like <laughs> that's that's like a once a year right on christmas day you listen to it you love it and then you pack it away forever um for another year at least <laughs> yeah i'm in the throws back um what was the other one Wham. Last Christmas by Wham. Last Christmas, yeah. I'm gonna give it to Wham. I think I think that one's better. Last Christmas by Wham. You get like to vote Hollis. It's more fun. I particularly hate both of those songs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so last Christmas, I feel like every like there's so many covers of it, and they all suck equally as bad as the original. Um, but like, okay, do you hear what I hear? I hate that song specifically because the line, a child, a child, shivers in the cold, let us bring him silver and gold, bring him a fucking blanket. Anyway. Hollis. So, okay, I have, the only thing I have to go off of is like, like, which one repulses me the least. So I'd have to say, Whitney wins, not the song, but Whitney wins. <laughs> Whitney wins on that one. Sharon. The lesser of two evils. <laughs> My turn, huh? Um, I, Wham is another one of those. That song is another one that I always hear way, way too early in the season. In fact, I haven't heard it yet, which is remarkable. Um, and I'm glad. I mean, I'm really happy I haven't heard it yet. I agree with Andy. I think Whitney is just, she's amazing. Um, she was amazing. Uh, what a loss. Um, and I, I like the song. I like the story that it tells aside from the fact that, you know, they're not, it's not very practical. None of the gifts the wise men brought were practical guys. None of them. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go with Whitney. Do you hear what I hear? Like they've never seen a baby before or something. Who brings the baby herbs? <laughs> Frankincense. Incense. <laughs> Light it up. You know what? I see you have an infant. Um, how about filling that infant's lungs with smoke? I think that's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> it gets, gets a vote. Harley, is it, uh, do you hear what I hear last Christmas? Um, I'm going to go with Wham. It is a tie game. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the song, Do You Hear What I Hear? So I, one, of, one of my, one of my, favorite Christmas, one of my favorite religious Christmas songs. Um, so that's saying something because I'm, I'm not, not anti-religion, but I'm also definitely not pro-religion either. 
So it holds a special place in my heart. Last Christmas, so I like the Glee version of this one. It is, it's probably mm-hmm. my favorite version of the song is, is the one that they did on Glee. Mm-hmm. And You would. But it's a, it's wham, amazing. It, it's, <clears throat> this song, Last Christmas from Wham, is a step below All I Want for Christmas by Mariah <laughs> Carey. Not only one of the most played Christmas songs, but one of the most iconic Christmas pop songs out there. And believe it or not, speaking of the entire All I Want for Christmas uh, Sharon says something about hearing this song re- really, really stu- super early. The only time I've heard this song, and I, I work retail, all right? Uh, the only time I've heard this song is on the playlist that I made for the show. Really? I haven't heard it anywhere else this year. That and stuns I guarantee me. The moment I get in my car, because I have Christmas music in my car, and I, I, I wear this when I'm out door dashing. Um, <laughs> You'll, it will come on my radio and it will be there for next two months, even well after Christmas. So last <laughs> Christmas will be getting my vote off of that, though. Jess. I'm going to go with my, not my. Wow. Winnie Houston, do you hear what I hear? Which means there's a tie game coming down to Jeremy last Christmas. Or do you hear what I hear? Well, see, there is a joke that can be made here, but I will restrain myself from making this joke in the presence of people <laughs> around us. But that's a first. I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm well, outnumbered, Freddy. This. I'm outnumbered, Freddy. I'm outnumbered. But uh, I know, right? It's all on top of you. <laughs> as far as as far as that would be, Freddy. As far as that would be. Um. Yeah, it's gotta be last Christmas. I fucking love Wham, and it's I'm I'm channeling my inner Harvey for that one because I know he's a huge Wham fan too. Four to three on that one. Shout out to Harvey. Hollis starts us off. Is it "Let It Snow" by Ella Fitzgerald or "Christmas in the Hollis" by Run DMC? I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to do that. Yep. Who doesn't want to spend Christmas in Hollis? I know Andy does. I spend every Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, um, that's fucking terrible, Jeremy. What the hell? I love both of the songs, but like some of the vocal acrobatics that Ella Fitzgerald goes on in, in "Let It Snow." Like I just can't, I can't deny that. Yeah, I have to vote for, I have to vote for that over even a song with my own name in it. So, so Ella wins that one hard. <laughs> Ella gets to vote on that one. Uh, Sharon, is it Xmas in the Hollis, which is the first time you've heard this song, or Let It Snow? Um. Yeah. I. Uh, I. I didn't. I had to listen to. Uh, Christmas in the Hollis. That was the only song on the list that I didn't know practically by heart. Um, and that's showing my age, uh, I think. So uh, I'm going to go with the classic from Ella Fitzgerald. Gets another one, Harley. I'm going to go with Let It Snow because in school, when you do those Christmas programs, that's the song that they always have you do is Let It Snow. Uh, somebody in comments uh, looked this up for me. If I remember right, Let It Snow was like an after war type thing, like a nuclear uh, song or something like that. I, I remember hearing something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it sounds like something post or something, but. <laughs> I agree with Chance's comment. I agree, I agree with Chance's comment the same. No, I, don't, I don't have. You, you do have yeah, comments, uh, dude. You, I don't know why you can't. No, I do, but I, I don't have any below. Uh, Chris is saying that he's back. That's yeah. That's the last one I can see as well. What the fuck? Okay. There's one yeah. from Facebook user and that's from Chancy. That's Chancy. My my fellow streamer Lisa. Okay. Oh, is that <laughs> Chancy? Is that Vito? The only thing we're mentioning in this category is you don't do. Deserve a goddamn thing for Christmas. Polka down. I'm, I'm sorry. Amazing. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm sorry, but no. 
did not make this list. Um, the song that I want a hippopotamus for Christmas also did not make this list. Uh, which that must be my bad. I love name. that song. No. So there's that one. Uh, either way, I'm gonna go with Christmas in the Hollis on this one. I love a, one of my favorite Christmas movies is called The Night Before, mm -hmm. and uh, technically a Hanukkah movie as well. And they do a version of this for karaoke during that movie, which is absolutely fantastic. And I, I, I love that scene. So uh, it gets my vote. Jess, is it, is it Christmas in the Hollis or Let It Snow? I'm going to go with Let It Snow. Gets a vote and the win on that one. Jeremy. You know, I was, I was all ready to steal fucking Andy's. I was all ready to steal Andy's vote. There's still a chance I would make it win. But. Uh, it's a hundred percent Christmas in Hollis. Cause how fucking dare you do a Chris Christmas bracket without with only one rap fucking song? I did a whole Christmas rap bracket last year for fuck's sake. There's like thirty five good Christmas rap songs. Jesus Christ, including one by Big Willie. <laughs> yep. Uh, and of course, Andy, finish this out. I did not even know there was a song called. Christmas in the Hollis. I thought you just like typed it wrong when I saw that in the message. Like I there, thought is, it was there is to be, no like, the. Christmas in the or something. Um, no, there's so. there, there's no the. It's it literally is just Christmas in Hollis. Christmas in Hollis, no, and I was like, that sounds like a great song. Um, but I did have to look it up, so I'm gonna go with Let It Snow. <laughs> Run DMV. Let It Snow moves on five and two to the next round. Tara starts us off. Is it uh, beginning to look a lot like Christmas? I put the Megan Trainer uh, version on here, uh, mm -hmm. or Feliz Navidad uh, by. I know this is not how it is pronounced, but I'm gonna pronounce it this way because I want to. Jose Felicio. It's <laughs> light my fire, light my fire. Jose Feliciano. Um, yes. Um... I had not heard the Megan Trainer version of it, and she she did a fine fine job. But as I am the only one of the bastards sitting in a foreign country right now, I feel like I got to go with Jose and the song that's in Spanish, Feliz Navidad. Keep it cultural. Uh, that's it right. That's early. me. Um, I'm gonna go with Feliz Navidad also. Uh, I would like to, uh, I've, I've mentioned this a couple times uh, of the different names and everything else. I made sure on the list that no one name was repeated twice. The only one that I had to really change around was uh, the Hawaiian Christmas song and um, White Christmas because it uh, White Christmas was originally done by uh, Bing Crosby. But right. I put the uh, Frank Sinatra song in there. So at least that way we have a wide range of everybody going on. I'm going to go, um, although I do love Megan Trainor's version of this one, there's a lot of songs of hers I don't like, but I do love this one. But Felice Navidad always reminds me of Taco John's commercials. <laughs> and I love me some Nachos Navidad. <laughs> and the churro. The churro is fantastic too, but... Um, Uncle John's um, is so good. Oh, now Marianne. you're making me hungry. I'm sorry. Talking good. Uh, so, yeah, Felice Navidad. Uh, get, uh, I get a vote on that one. Jeff, Felice Navidad are beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I'm going with Felice Navidad because that's a fun song. All right. Jeremy. Um, for this one, and uh, I just got to correct myself. Chanty, not make that comment. That was Big Don Vito in the comments, apparently. But uh, oh, okay. I do, for this for this one, I got to go with what song is more danceable when I'm at a Christmas party drunk. And Felice Navidad is definitely that song. So way more danceable. Mm -hmm. Andy? I feel like I just need to live one day through Freddie's brain because, like, how do you decide what to eat? You're just like, you know what? Blue's a good color today. Kool-Aid sounds like a good lunch. <laughs> well, he, 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 loves, he loves Bluey, so that makes sense. I'm so confused by you. Uh, Feliz Navidad for me. <laughs> Imagine how my wife feels. 
I feel sorry for her sometimes. <laughs> there it is, blue lunch. <laughs> oh man. Ah. Uh, sorry, Andy. What was about? Like. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Yeah. And you know, you you said Freddie's name, not my name, just so you know. That's why we were all looking at you like, what? <laughs> oh, sorry, Jeremy, not Freddie. Wrong Anne dude. Hollis, you you <laughs> Wrong stuff. Uh, I have to say, I I'll agree, Feliz Navidad, but just because, like, as a kid, it was my own, like, my first chance to, like, learn anything that wasn't English. So, yeah, I love it. <laughs> In our first week, Feliz Navidad moves on to the next round. Harley starts us off. Is it the Christmas song by uh, Nat King Cole or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Gene Autry? Um, I'm going to go with Rudolph. Rudolph gets a vote on this one. I'm going to go with uh, the Christmas song on this one. Uh, for those who don't know what this one is, it's a Christmas song. This is the uh, chestnuts roasting on an open fire, uh, which is the first <laughs> words of that song. Trying try to tip you off. Jess, is it a Christmas song where Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Rudolph? Of course. Gets a vote, too. We went through this before on the Chuck Berry Bracket on my show, but fuck that handy capable fucking reindeer. I am 100% going to have to go with uh, the singing cowboy himself. Or not the singing cowboy, uh, fucking Nat King Cole and all his greatness. This is an old fucking matchup, dude. Fucking old ass people. Mm -hmm. going, going classic on this one. Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Nat King Cole. Mostly because it's just beautiful. Like, all other ridiculous arguments aside, that Christmas song by Nat King Cole is a masterpiece. Get smoke. Hollis. <laughs> I would like to go on the record as saying I am indeed pro handy capable reindeer, but <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with Nat King Cole because, like, he's got a, he's got a voice made out of like, like but warm but. <laughs> Gets a vote and the win, uh, Sharon. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. That's gonna be Nat King Cole. That's a very bad impression, but that's the right song. Well, that's that's why we don't get copyright. Um, uh -huh. Christmas song moves on five to two. Uh, speaking of Red Rudolph, though, I I saw something on Facebook the other day that kind of got got me thinking. The entire if Santa can see who's naughty and who night who's nice, he definitely knew that Rudolph was being bullied. That's true. But why so, was your nose red, Rudolph? Why? <laughs> we had a cold. Oh cold. It was a fallout shelter. This happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty good chancy. Uh, chancy's in comments, by the way. Rudolph, the cocaine addicted reindeer. There you go. And I Tiger got the blood island blood. of misfit. I got the island of misfit toys right over my shoulder there. Can you see it? Mickey's <laughs> over there. All right. Uh, I start this one off. This is the last one of the first half of round one. It looks like Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from the uh, 90s in sync. Versus White Christmas by Frank Sinatra. I love me a crooner. Can't help it. I I, I love me a crooner. Frank Sinatra alone gets my voice. My voice. My vote. Uh, I do love Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. It's, it's a nice, upbeat, peppy song. But White Christmas is just, it's just so mellow. And it's a good song to have on, on, on the background. So uh, nice with your family opening gifts and everything. Else. So it gets my vote. Frankie for the win. Old Blue Eyes. Um, Jess. I love both of these songs. But I'm going to have to go for Frank Sinatra. Gets another one. Jeremy. Is. Am not I? on screen right now. So. And muted. 
over him for the moment. Andy. He's MIA. <clears throat> Can you repeat the choices, please? Uh, White Christmas by Frank Sinatra or Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays by NSYNC. Oh, Frank Sinatra, for Happy sure. Holidays. <laughs> Hollis. Um, so I, I got to vote melancholy. I always got to go that direction. Uh, just wait till you pin two melancholy songs up against each other. See what happens. But, oh, I'm just over here crying. <laughs> but uh, White Christmas please, yes. Get the vote and the win on that one. Going back up to Jeremy because he wasn't here. Is it White Christmas by Frank Sinatra or Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays by uh, Insane? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Tansy. And um a hundred percent a hundred percent is not fucking in sync. It is the main man himself, Frank Sinatra, and I actually have his Christmas album coming on an episode of Musers right before Christmas. So guess another one. Uh Sharon. It's gonna be old blue eyes for me too, Freddie. Frank Sinatra all the way. And Harley, finish us up. It's going to be Frank Sinatra. That is sweet. With a sweet finishing up first half of round one. We'll be Woo! right back right after this break. Uh, Jeremy, who is the only actual bastard here that has an, another thing to promote. What are you up to this uh, coming up on your show there, sir? Oh, we are starting the Musers Only Fans, Chancey's Feet, and the rest of my body. But yeah, we also have coming up this month. Almost made Freddy do a spit take. Almost made Freddy do a spit take. Fucking amazing. But <laughs> coming up this month, it was supposed to be tonight, but we decided to push it back more towards the holidays. Rolling Stone Bracket Part 3 is coming up, I believe, on the 29th now. And it is going to be a hell of a showdown on this one. So many rap songs coming into it to play finally. It's going to be a bracket and a half. And other than that, just more one on one brackets and more great shows of your musers. Like, seriously, we have like 10 regular episodes this month because we're insane. So, musers all the way, many different CDs, including an awesome show that just released yesterday with Annette from Music Junkies. That was a fun fucking show. 1984 version. Prince Van Halen. And Iron Maiden all one show. Someone came. It might have been Chansey, but I don't know. All right. Uh, Andy, Hollis, Sharon, and Harley, you have a chance at the end of round at the end of round two. Same if you would like. If not, we'll just move on. Um, welcome back to the second half of round one. It looks like Jess starts us off on this one. Is it? Happy Christmas by John Lennon or Baby is Cold Outside by Zoe Dachanel. Baby is Cold Outside. Gets a vote. Jeremy. What was the first song? Not that matters. Uh, Happy song. Christmas by John Lennon. Okay, this isn't the John Lennon song I care about. Okay, good. Or is it? Is this Happy Christmas War is Over? Yes. So you got to add the extra part in there, dude. But, well, oh, this is the official. The... This is the first official fuck you, Freddy. It's the first official fuck you, Freddy. You got amazing Beatles song against the rapey song. Fuck you, Freddy. It's not a Beatles. It is not a Beatles song. It is a John Lennon song. If you're either, if you're part of the Beatles, you represent the Beatles every time you do anything. But <laughs> you well, it, it, well, I mean, shit. I mean. All right, I'm going to have to go with John Lennon because it's not the good Baby It's Cold Outside that uh, Bill Cosby did. Baby It's Cold Outside, stay here with this pudding pop. Oh, what's that in your drink? Don't what, oh, what's that in your drink? Don't, don't fucking worry about it. Just enjoy the pudding pop. John Lennon gets a vote on that one. Uh, something came to mind the other day about Baby It's Cold Outside. They, they tried to ban it, what, like, 10 years ago or something like that. Like five years ago. It, it wasn't. No, it was, it was, no, it, it was, it was it after was, the me too. It was me too. It was part of the me too movement. Didn't it get caught up in all of that? Yeah. I'm not. I know it was recently that they tried banning it. 
It was the same time. Did you know? Do you know what the number one song was in the country when they tried to ban that song? Anybody? Probably something wow. equally suggestive and West wet ass pussy. <laughs> Yep, it was WAP. Fanny exactly. W A P. Yep. Which one is the most offensive one. song between those two? Right. <laughs> nah, maybe it's cold outside. Yeah, I mean, but you know, like, but it's different to be bragging about your own business than trying to get into somebody else's unwillingly, you know? Exactly. Who doesn't like wet ass pussy? Come on. I can brag about I my mean, own the thing business. Is, though, not no. force Hollis to hang out with me all night. It doesn't say that that's what he was trying to do. I mean, there might he might just be a good dude. It's like, dude, it's fucking cold outside. Like, I'm not going to be responsible for you dying of like freaking hypothermia. COVID. You, you got too wait, cold. wait, yeah, hypothermia and no, fall into a, a lake a and everything else. There's, there's really a line in the song that says, "What's in what's in this drink?" Kelly Clarkson yeah. and uh, John Legend and John Legend. J Kelly Clarkson and John Legend did a, a remake of Baby It's Cold Outside. About what would happen if the guy actually cared about consent? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. You should look it up. There's, uh College Humor did a version of this too, where like he was he was the one trying to kick her out of the house and she kept trying to stay. Yeah, similar. But Everything else, it just, it just makes me laugh. But the fact that "Wet Ass Pussy" was a number one song when that was trying to get banned is just mm -hmm. ah, bothers me. I think it's uh, Andy, though, who did, who, did, who did answer that question correctly, is it uh, "Happy Christmas"? War is over, or "Baby Is Cold Outside"? Happy Christmas, war is over, for sure. If only gets a vote. This this version of Baby is Cold Outside is from the movie <laughs> Elf, by the way. So there's that. Hollis, Baby is Cold Outside or Happy Christmas, War is Over. Um, I don't I don't like Baby is Cold Outside. I don't think it's cute. Uh, but there is a really cool version that uh that Queen Herbie did. It got taken down, but it was uh, from like the viewpoint of like a princess and uh, like an evil queen trying to poison her, it was kind of cool. Um, but I, I, I uh, digress. Definitely, <laughs> Happy Christmas War is over. It's like melancholy, of course, you know. <laughs> uh, Sharon, baby, it's cold outside. Or Happy Christmas War is over. Um. Well, you know, it was just um. Uh, was it 43 years ago yesterday that we lost John Lennon? 1980? I 1981? Don't know. Anyway, January 8th was, or excuse me, December 8th was uh, was the day he was shot. Um, and I remember it very, very clearly. Y'all may not be old enough to remember that, uh, but I do. Um, so I'm going to have to go with uh, John Lennon. Happy Christmas War is over. In his I memory. I believe I was still a sperm swimming around at that point, but I was even a sperm yet. Yeah. I definitely wasn't old enough. <laughs> yeah, I know. Showing, John, showing my age again. Uh, John Lennon gets to vote and the win on that one, Harley. Okay, I love Zoe Deschamel, but because <laughs> that movie is in the Elf, and I can't stand Will Ferrell with, like, for the life of me. No! Don't make him happy. I cannot Don't make him happy. stand that man. I'm going to have to go with John Lennon. God damn it. You just made Freddie happy. <laughs> Can't stand Will Ferrell. No, I, no dude. Man. You have no souls. Um. <coughs> I can't. I can't stand Will Ferrell. There's very few movies of his that I absolutely love. Um. Changers in Fiction is the only good movie that I've ever seen him in. And that that was actually because of him. There's other movies that are good in spite of him. Uh, Sharon, to answer your question, though, uh, December 8th, 1980. Thank you. I was right now. Oh. It was my first year of college. So that's um, that that was I was pretty sure I had the year right on that. So, yeah, that's that's a lot of years ago, guys. <laughs> no wonder none of you were around to remember. <laughs> I was negative five years old. Okay. I was mm -hmm. negative five. I was two. negative five years old at that point. So there's that. Um, I was negative 13. 
See ya, baby. I love I I I love Baby is Cold Outside. Uh, I love pretty much every every version of it. Uh, the quote unquote rapiness aside to it. And as a guy, I, I, I'm fully aware that I'm I'm not coming at it from the view that I should possibly be coming coming to it. I'm Maybe. just I see it as a song. Uh, I don't know it's because I don't have because I have the idea that that a person would want to do something like that uh, in me or not. But that's the way it is for me. So uh, and it's one of, one of my favorite ones. Mentioning war, uh, I do love me melancholy songs, but um, m mentioning war during during a Christmas, e even even if it is a historically um, recognized song, is still a little eh to me. So, baby is cool outside. We'll be getting my vote on that one, but it does not move on. It's five to two. Happy Christmas to the next one. Jared, is it Run Run Rudolph by Chuck Berry or Old Holy Night by Celine Dion? You said me? Uh, you kind of went staticky when you said Yes, that. Jeremy. There's no Jamie here, so. I couldn't hear shit. You went, you went staticky. It's like, hey, 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 hey. But, um, you sounded yeah. like a robot. I, I want you to sing a story. I don't know what happens. Yeah, there you go. But, um, ah, fuck. It's all holy night versus what's the first one? Run, run, uh, Rudolph. Run, run, Rudolph. Oh, Chuck oh the handy capable fucking reindeer's back. Lovely. Uh, well, I mean, I could not vote for Chuck Berry this time, though, because it's not my ding a -ling. That's a song I like to vote for him always, but <laughs> that was on our novelty songs bracket a few weeks back. So I'm yeah. still I'm still but, mad I didn't win. <laughs> it, hey, it, it, it didn't win the Chuck Berry bracket either, but that's because we want Harvey to be proud of us and not think we're kids voting for that song. But uh, yeah. I'll give I'll give to Celine Dion because oh, Celine Dion could always get it in the '90s. Always, still can get it probably. I haven't seen a picture of her in a while, but she probably still can get it. Get it now. <laughs> Very ill. Uh, Jeremy, with, Jeremy with Oh Holy Night on this one. Andy, is it Oh Holy Night or Run Run Rudolph? I yeah, love Run Run, Run Rudolph. Rudolph. It's fun. And I love Celine Dion. Celine Dion has an amazing voice and she sings everything, you know, like Celine Dion does. And I'm sure she probably could have got it in the 90s. Um, but Run Run Rudolph, for sure. Chuck Bay was not on that one, Holly. Wipe, wipe the dust off, that's all. Uh, I just want to take a moment to, like, if anybody's uh, if anybody uh, cares about Celine Dion that's watching or anybody on, on this bracket... Uh, she's very ill with stiff person syndrome. It, it's bad. Um, she's sick and she's trying, her and her sister are trying to raise awareness for what's going on. So if you could look her up and look up the foundation they're trying to get people to support, I think it'd be a great direction to go if you're trying to donate this Christmas. But uh, otherwise, I definitely don't really like the religious Christmas songs. I'm going to have to go with Run on Ru Rudolph because Chuck Berry gave pretty much everybody a chance to shake their ass for Christmas. Yeah. We agree. I mean, Finally. I mean, oh, but oh, 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 Holy Night is the best song when they play it in the strip club on Christmas. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck on your knees? Is that the part? You know what? Uh, I'm, I'm going to, I think next time I'm on my like podcast, I'm going to show up as a reindeer, like a handy capable reindeer just for you. <laughs> I'm going to all on next week. So there's. There's hey, that. and I'm hoping, yeah, Jeremy, I'm, hoping I'm gonna go get like the reindeer antlers before I'm on next week. If everybody does that I'm next week, it'd be the funniest thing in the world. world. I'm just saying, if everybody did, that'd be funny. Make it happen. <laughs> Chuck Berry gets a vote. Uh, Sharon, this was a tough one for me because. I really, I mean, I, I love the song, Oh Holy Night. I'm, I've am i never been super crazy about Celine Dillon. Uh, as as Andy pointed out, she, she sings everything the same way. She sounds the same to me on every single song, and I think sometimes she oversings some things. That being said, sure hope 
her health improves. I sure I don't wait, you know, if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. So I, I certainly uh, wish her all the best and uh, a healing holiday season. That being said, I'm going to go with Chuck Berry and run, run Rudolph. Harley. I'm going to go with run, run Rudolph because I personally, Celine Dion's a good singer, but like Sharon said, she sounds the same and she's overplayed. Gets to vote and the win on that one. I, I'm going to give it to run, run Rudolph as well. Um, it's a fun song. Like you it can't is. help but like kind of nod your head to it and everything else. So, and, kind of bounce around with with or without antlers on. So it gets <laughs> my vote. Jess, run, run, Rudolph, or Oh Holy Night. <clears throat> I'm going to go with Oh Holy Night. I love that song. And we don't it is a great Pet song. This, Freddy. We don't kink shame pet play in this, so if people want to do it with reindeer freaking antlers on, that's all on them. Gets a vote. Um, Andy starts this one off. Is it Andy. most wonderful time of the year? Andy's missing and she starts us off. <laughs> yeah. Andy there starts she us is. off. Is it most wonderful time of the year by Andy Williams or You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch by uh, Thurl Ravencroft? I really like both of those songs for kind of similar reasons. I'm just going to go with the one that's most fun to sing at Christmas time because that's where my brain is like all the time. So you're a mean one, Mr. Bridge. Gets about Hollis. Um, you know, a bad banana with a greasy black peel. I feel like that is like the most poetic <laughs> line that I could have ever heard in a Christmas song. So I'm so down. <laughs> No. <laughs> Sharon. Um, Andy Williams is, you know, that that was the music I listened to growing up as a kid. I mean, my God, we had that classic Christmas album from I don't know what it was, 1962, 63, 64, somewhere in there. Um, I feel it, it's it's more classic. Uh, so I'm gonna go with it's the most wonderful time of the year. Movie too, by the way. Um, you want to check that one out? It's got uh, the Fonz in it. Uh, get your vote, Harley. I'm gonna have to go with your mean one, Mr. Grant. I expect to be outvoted on this one, quite frankly. It might be generational. <laughs> surprises, surprises. Uh, I'm going to go with Mean One, Mr. Grinch, too. Uh, but I, I recommend going going to Spotify or wherever you get, or Apple iTunes or wherever the fuck you get your music from. Look up different versions of this song. Uh, I I have one on, on my Spotify that I saved, and I cannot remember who the fuck it's by, but it, it's, a, it's singing the Grinch song from the Grinch's point of view. And it's this this dude's a this dude's a badass. Like the the, the Grinch is, is a badass in the song. It gets my vote and the win. Jess, uh mean one Mr. Grinch with the most wonderful time of the year. I'm going with the mean one, Mr. Grinch. Gets another one, Jeremy. As much as I love that horror movie that came out last year, the mean one that is actually a Grinch horror movie is fucking amazing. But um, I will 100% have to say on this one, as much as I love the Grinch and everything about him, because at work, my fucking co-workers decorated their cubicles and the mine is bare as shit, so I always feel like the Grinch every day and look down at Hoville. But I have to go with this most wonderful time of the year because I love it in the opening scene of Surviving Christmas where it shows everybody like trying to kill themselves to that song. Like, so, it's a fucking funny-ass scene. <laughs> Good Ben Affleck movie, if you've never seen it. Uh, somebody's vote I, I didn't count for some reason so oh no I did I just can't <laughs> seem to count right so uh, six I can't count to five 
Six to one, me and one. We figured that out a long time ago, Freddy. No, I can't count to 10. This no, you can't count to 11. Starts us off. This is where this is where Q jumps in. It's like, I told you. I told you. Okay, I know. All this starts us off. Is it Jingle Bell Rock by Bobby Helms or uh, Christmas Don't Be Late, uh, the chipmunk song? Oh. I'm going to take this shake. Nice I'm going to take this shake. Do that, do that, mm. that voice. I love I'm it. pretty sure you can mash up those two songs. I bet you could. I bet you could. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, uh, that's hard because, like, they're both. Mm, fuck you, Freddy. <laughs> that's yeah, I agree. This is puppy. <laughs> I got Candy Cane Shank here. I'm going to fuck you with it, Freddy. <laughs> Um, I have to say, like, that sounds dirty. The most in my life, probably it's the chipmunks. To. I chipmunks. Get, chipmunks get a vote on that one. Sure. Hoop. <laughs> <laughs> Jaren, what's your vote? What is the other? What is the other song besides uh, the chipmunks? Because I'm I've got that running in my head now. Jingle Bell Rock by Bobby Helms. Yeah, Jingle Bell Rock is a good song too. Um, but I, I'm, I'm having such fun having that song run through my head and and watching Andy dance to it that I think I need, <laughs> I think I need to vote for uh, the Chipmunks on this one. Gets another one, Harley. Okay, so this is a fuck you, Freddy moment for me, <laughs> and. <sighs> I'm going to have to go with the chickmunks. I'm getting it from everywhere there, dude. Damn. <laughs> um, for Q, I'm going to, I'm going to shout out uh, our, our boy Q on this one. You stole mine. <laughs> I am going to give this don't be late the win. Because Q cannot fucking stand the chipmunks. Any kind of version of it, with the exception of the movies. So, uh, just, just to say fuck you to Q, because I absolutely, absolutely love saying fuck you to Q. Christmas Don't Be Late gets gets to vote and the win on that one. Yes. Not the first time you stole your man, Jess. I was literally going right. to say, and shout out to my husband, I am voting for the chipmunks. <laughs> Stole it. Ah, uh -huh. So fuck you, Freddy. Oh. Bros, be a, bros before ho, man. Bros before ho. I mean, yeah, you fuck you, Freddy. <laughs> Jeremy, single bell rock. Christmas, don't be late. Uh, well, just like your girl, you don't want Christmas to be late. So 100% going to go with... Uh, <laughs> Christmas don't be late because I fucking love the chipmunks and everything they do. I watched that cartoon going up like fucking crazy. So chipmunks all fucking day. I'll hop on the fucking Q train. Let's ride in this train. Ride the Q train. I did not sign up for this. Yeah. <laughs> I That's still it. want a hula hoop. We can Andy, finish this one out. Is it Christmas don't be late or Jingle Bell Rock? Freddie's like, I'll wait. <laughs> hey, you look like you were having a good time. I wasn't going to stop you. Seriously. <laughs> it is Andy. my turn to vote, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, so. All right. Obviously, the chipmunk song, because I haven't stopped <laughs> singing it since you mentioned it. So that one. <laughs> All right. I wanted Sharon to start this one off uh, for different reasons. One, because um, of the age ratio. Okay. And I say that, I say that <laughs> in the best way. Of and course. The, the, other one, the other one is because of your location. The other one is because of your location. Is it Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by Judy Garland? Mm -hmm. Or Frost of the Snowman? By Michael Bublé. Wow. Um, 
That's a toughie. Um, and if you know, if, if it was a regular, if it was a regular part of my vocabulary, I might have to give you a fuck you, Freddie. But it's just I usually I don't I don't toss that word around too often. But it feels like you know we got to make I it a sweep it. that everybody's done it tonight. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Judy Garland. That's again a classic from from I, I remember hearing that growing up when I was a very young kid. So I'm going to go with Judy, Judy, Judy. Judy gets one vote on that one. Harley, is it uh, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by Julie Garland or Frosted Snowman by Michael Bublé? Bubbles. Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Gets a vote. I am going to be the first person to steal a vote. Uh-oh. This will be interesting. If anybody... Uh, Heard Hollis's <laughs> backstage. We'll know exactly why I'm doing this. Holly, I, uh, Holly, Hollis, I am stealing your vote today. I am <laughs> making sure your vote is dedicated to the great man himself. Oh. I demand a moment to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I and, demand a recount. I will give I will give her her moment to speak because she she will finish this vote out. So there there's that one. Um Jess, frost the snowman or have yourself a merry little Christmas. Have yourself a very uh, merry little Christmas. Yeah, that one. <laughs> get, get the vote, Jeremy. Well, put it this way. I've heard many versions of Frosty before Michael Bublé was even a fucking thing and he shouldn't even be a thing. So I 100% I'm going to fucking speak for Hollis here and say it is 100% going to Judy Garland. The only time I ever wished I was a little person was because of Judy Garland. So. What? From, from and um, and Andy, finish this one out. Um, I I I am much less devastated by the fact that Michael Bublé exists, but we'll get into that momentarily. Um, I still <laughs> love Judy Garland, though. So Judy Garland's got my vote. <laughs> and Hollis. Explain to the people out there why I stole your vote. First of all, <laughs> Freddie. Go, Judy Hollis. Garland deserves her moment. So Judy Garland in that song took a song that under the guise of being happy was a song that should rip your intestines out through your throat and present them to you as a bouquet of flowers and tell you that your loved one has died. Okay? So, like, that's what Judy Garland did in that song. So, fuck you, Freddie. Second of all, <laughs> uh, Michael Bublé is a spineless, soul-sucking, soulless antichrist of a uh, non-human. Oh and um, he's got what a great deal sounds good, but uh, he has stolen the term crooning from all that was good and wonderful with the world and has applied it to something that is made of manila envelopes and I am done. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> wow. We need her on the and So I vote for I do the only two people to vote for uh on this one by by Miss Bubbles himself. It is myself and Hollis, and it will go down like that in the record books. In just, the record books, just because I stole her vote. The so, one time you voted, mark that one me. off mine. I am going to file a complaint <laughs> with, <laughs> your, with your well, supervisor. <laughs> that's right. I, she well, can, am, we're going to have file. So his supervisor <laughs> is him. So good luck well, with that one. Yeah. Well, actually, actually, okay, Freddie, let me speak with the manager. Well, actually, That's him. Freddie recently I'll, hired I'll me on as the manager for this group. Yeah. 
Regional got hired as the HR manager for this group of bastards. So I'll make a point to me, and I'll make sure the supervisor hears about it. Well, that's one lump of coal for me. Harley starts this off. Only yeah. one. Yeah, well, I, I got a couple lumps for you, but um, Harley starts this off. Is it Little St. Nick by the Beach Boys or I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus by Jackson 5? Um, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. Gets a vote. Uh, I, I personally think this song is completely overplayed and not in a good way. I'm, I'm not a huge Michael Jackson fan even to start with. This is not Michael Jackson. It's a Jackson 5. 90% of the song is Michael Jackson. I do agree with that, but it's listed as Jackson 5, which gives a little bit of credit. But Little St. Nick is one of, it's just, even though it is the Beach Boys, it's just, it's, it's a hip song. It's one of those songs that you did, it's kind of hard not, not to dance to. So Little St. Nick will be getting my vote on this one. Jess. <laughs> I'm going to go with Jackson 5. I saw Mama kissing Santa Claus. Gets a vote. Jeremy, uh, apparently Casey Box in, in the comments uh, from uh, uh, Evening at the Movies. Go check that podcast out. He wants to file a complaint against Jeremy. I don't know well, why. Go ahead and put that in, co in comments. Actually, don't put that in comments because we don't need any proof of that. Uh, Jeremy. <laughs> that is why I am HR because there's, you know, I look myself in the mirror every day and have a talk. But uh, I will 100% say on this that the reason they saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus is because Joe Jackson was a monster. But so Mommy had to get some action elsewhere. But I will 100% go for Little St. Nick by the Beach Boys. Uh, well, I say Santa's got to empty his sack somewhere, right? Andy. Yes. I saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus or Little St. Nick. I. I like the Beach Boys. I like them a lot, probably more than most people, I think, at this point in my life. Um, so I'm definitely going to go with Little St. Nick. Yes, another one, Holly. I mean, like, I saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus has its has its potential to, to be a little, like, deeper because, you know, it's like, oh, this kid actually believes it. I don't know, whatever. But, like, Beach Boys is fun. Beach Boys, because you know you did it. <laughs> after after the Buble conflict, nothing really matters anymore. Is nothing that? really matters. <laughs> Anyone can see. Oh, and Sharon, finish this one off. I'm gonna have to go with the Beach Boys as well. Those classic beachy harmonies will get me every time. Five two moves on. We'll face the seven to zero in the next round. I start this one off. Uh, Elvis himself makes an appearance on this one with Blue Christmas or Burl Eyes with Holly Jolly Christmas. Uh, melancholy. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go melancholy over happy on this one. I love a happy Christmas song. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Elvis, but I absolutely love the song Blue Christmas. Uh, it's one of the few songs that I actually. Even with no music playing, I, I find myself humming every once in a while. So it gets my vote. Jess? I absolutely love Elvis, and so that's what I am going with. Jeremy? Yeah, uh, 100%. Fucking, uh, it's got to be the man himself, Elvis, with uh, Blue Christmas. Because um, okay. I'm, I'm pissed they didn't have Austin Butler singing that in the movie last year. Andy? Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> My pleasure. That one. Is that your vote, dear? <laughs> yes. Okay. Elvis moves along with that one. Uh, Hollis, Blue Christmas or Holly Jolly Christmas? Yeah, acting like we're speaking right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love for lives, but uh, but you know, Blue Christmas, Elvis Presley definitely understood the assignment, so I'm going for I'm going for that one. He always understood the assignment. Thank you. Get another one, Karen. 
I don't want Burl to be shut out here. You know, I don't want him to get a big donut. Um, he was, again, a voice of, of my childhood, a Christmas voice of my childhood. And he narrated Rudolph the Red Reindeer, the Rankin Bass uh, cartoon. You'll know his voice from that. He sang on it as well. So I'm going to give Burl a vote because I don't want him to get donutted here. Goddamn, can you kick more reindeer making another appearance? Fuck. Yes. I've got to bring up the Rudolph. And I haven't been dead yet. Like and Harley. Blue Christmas by Elvis. Avoiding the sweep on that one. Blue Christmas goes six to one, faces a five to two in the next round. We do have a melancholy versus melancholy song. Uh oh. Hollis is going to be torn. <laughs> but we do have two happy songs coming up, and Jeff starts us off. Is it Santa Claus is Coming to Town by Bruce Springsteen or Santa Baby by Eartha Kitt? Oh, I'm going with Santa Baby. Santa Baby gets a vote, Jeremy. Casey, I really hope you're still watching because you, you got a long and distinguished list, huh? I got something else long and distinguished for you because fuck Bruce Springsteen. I am 100% not going with that. It is fucking Eartha Kitt in her very seductive Santa song. I think she wants the big man with the beard, and I, I respect that. You wish. <clears throat> you ever thought about doing, a, doing an entire Santa thing there, Jeremy? Because, like, there's there's white stuff that you can put in your... <laughs> Sorry. There's <laughs> white... <laughs> calm down, Freddie. Calm down, buddy. Whoa, I know I'm attractive. Calm down, buddy. I'm, I'm trying to think of a way to phrase this. There's there's white coloring, uh, kind of like like a toothpaste they have, type stuff. There's white hairspray and stuff that you can spray in your beard. Well, it, it's not even that. It's like it's a paste, like a gel type thing that you could just put in your beard. And, that uh, sounds even like more common, pretty. Well, I, I, know, I like I the know. white hairspray idea better. Well, like Tim Allen, as it gets closer to the holiday, it starts turning a little white, so you know. Andy, Santa oh, Baby, oh, or oh. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yes, I am. Uh, Santa Baby. Because why not be sexing up Santa Claus? He's got all the goods anyway. Hey, not, not you, Jeremy. Not you. No, the real Santa, Santa Claus. Baby, not not my kid might be <laughs> Santa baby um, or Santa Claus. Yeah, I love Bruce Springsteen because, like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm down for anybody who ends a, ends their concerts on their knees in a pool of sweat. Uh, but, <laughs> but honestly, as far as songs go, Santa baby because actually not even songs. I love Eartha Kitt because, like, Catwoman. Yes, okay, that's all. <laughs> uh, Santa oh, baby. So I'm Hollis. I'm guessing you love Bobby Brown during his Coke days, then. <laughs> No. <laughs> Karen, Santa Baby or Santa Claus is coming to town. Uh, once again, I'm going to go against the, I'm going to go against the young grains here. Uh, I love, I love the boss. I, I agree with Hollis a hundred percent. That man is still the hardest working man in show business, I think. So I'm going to give it to Bruce. Gets about Harley. Wade. I'm going to go with Bruce also. Thank you, Harley. Batman getting love you. I'm not alone in that one then. Santa Baby was on five to two to get in live as well. We'll be right back right after this break. Um, Andy and Hollis, you got anything coming up? Yeah, we sure do. Hey, I know you do. Um, so as, as previously mentioned, we are Don't Call Me Lady. So we're a musical duo. We are doing, well, we are performing in and hosting a Christmas variety show coming up on the 23rd. Holly Jolly Melancholy Christmas. And we're going to be putting that on uh, YouTube on the 20, on Christmas Day at, at midnight. It's going to be pretty awesome. Crazy. There are eight other performers, I think. Well, actually, there's like 12 other performers, but eight <laughs> other acts. 
um, in the show, including a rapper and a poet and hopefully a hoop dancer, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, you can find us on Facebook, on TikTok, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, Soon on Spotify, because our new single is coming out uh, in mid-January. It's called Stained Glass. It's going to be really awesome. Yeah. So just you can find us under Don't Call Me Lady or Don't Call Me Lady Music on any of those platforms. Karen. Yeah, Love up. that for you guys. I can't wait to hear that. Um, I'm uh, on uh, Station Head three times a week, a uh, live show on uh, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, music and storytelling and whatever hell, the hell else I feel like complaining about. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at viking.diaries to get a little bit of a peek of what life is like here for an American expat living among the Vikings in Sweden. And then it all kind of comes together on my um, on my blog, which is uh, at thevikingdiaries.com. Hell yeah. And Harley, what are you guys up to over there? Hey guys, you can find me on YouTube and Facebook under The Asylum with Harley. We go live every Sunday night. We have a new episode coming out this Sunday called Fact Fiction or Completely Effed Up. And you can also find me on the Mod Squad Network with our horror show, and we have a gaming show and a movie show. And we also go live every Saturday night with a giveaway at 8 Eastern Time. All right. Welcome back for round two. Uh, the only person to steal a vote is myself, and everything else is in play. It looks like Jeremy starts us off, and we have the Hawaiian Christmas song moving on in a in a split decision versus Happy Christmas Wars Over five to two. Mm. He's on You're mute. Muted. Fuck me! I said I'm still pissed. <laughs> that the Hawaiian Christmas song was going on because I fucking pissed about that shit still. But I will go John Lennon. Only because Yoko Ono was not singing that much in that song. When she sings, it's got fucking off. But I will 100% go with uh, Merry Christmas War is Over, though. If I wanted to hear a fucking band yes. scream, I would go to Ireland. It's about Andy. Um, just because you can't pronounce it, and I want to hear you try again. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> It's like super fragile and holistic as you have those. Yeah, what you said. I mean, I I do I, I do appreciate it because uh I'm a fan of the song, but I just can't fucking pronounce it. Hollis, hey, is it Happy Christmas? What's that song from Mary Poppins called again, Freddie? Uh Super Fuck You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can hear that coming out of I can hear that coming out of Julie <laughs> Andrews' mouth. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I mean, Julie Andrews is a badass. Like I, I, I wouldn't fucking I wouldn't deal with her. Hollis, um, I would like to. Um, I like to steal a vote from you just because I wanna. Um, <laughs> and I, I know it's probably it. like this, I know you like this song, but for my like Aliki Maka, I love the Andrews sisters. Bing Crosby's great, but the Andrews sisters, they make my world every every holiday season. So you're going you're going two two for the Hawaiian Christmas song? Yeah. Okay. I I'm quite happy that you stole my vote then, because I was gonna go for that <laughs> one anyway. Um, <laughs> I appreciate that one. And that means that your your retribution of of, of a steal of vote was is officially off the board. <laughs> so that makes me happy. Way to come Jared, in crime and not uh, Hawaii what? Christmas song That's or Happy Christmas War is over. I'm gonna stick with uh I'm gonna stick with John Lennon on this one. Even though I can pronounce the Hawaiian Christmas song. <laughs> Harley. I'm gonna have to go with the Hawaiian Christmas song because it's fun and it's upbeat and And just um, I'll go with I'll go with the Hawaiian Christmas song too. How do you pronounce that one? Five to two Hawaiian Christmas song. He's not gonna pronounce it. 
I'm not going to. Like I, because I guarantee you, I'm gonna fuck it up. I'm gonna offend every single fucking Hawaiian out there. Not even. And there's a ton and, of them tuned in. Their bracket. If it wins the whole thing, then we'll and I'm a fan it. of like I, I'm. I'm a fan of upside down pineapple, so I don't want to offend every single Hawaiian out there. Okay, here's that one. <laughs> you, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh look, we're friends again. That, that joke was better than you acted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Andy starts us off. Yep. Is it Baby Please Come Home by Darling Love or Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by Judy Garland? Uh, have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by Judy Garland. Gets a vote, Hollis. Do I even have to say it? <laughs> yes. Judy all the way. Yes. My queen. <laughs> sure. I'm going to have to stick with Hollis and Andy on this one. It's definitely Judy Garland for me. Gets a vote. Harley. It's Judy for me, too. Woohoo. With, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pile frozen. that one onto it. Jess, have yourself a merry little Same. Christmas or baby. Please come home. Is it a sweet? Judy Garland. <laughs> what are the options for this, man? I don't hear Judy Garland. I don't hear the options. It's Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by Judy Garland or Baby Please Come Home by Darlene Love. Yeah, I'll throw Darlene one. Baby Please Come at home. Six to one, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas moves on to the next round. Hollis or starts us off. Or in the cemetery, either way. Is it is it last Christmas moving on in a split decision or Christmas don't be late moving on seven to zero? Mm. Oh, I mean, they're, both, they're both annoying, but I definitely enjoy the months more. <laughs> <laughs> I still want my <laughs> Darren, what'd you do? <laughs> I absolutely still want a hula hoop as well, although I could never do that damn thing. I never, ever could make a hula hoop work. But despite that, I'm still voting for the chipmunks. What you do is you spin it backwards when you throw it, and it just rolls itself back to you. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, it's okay. That I game I could probably play. <laughs> <laughs> like, stick with a hoop. That that will never catch on. Mm. Um Harley, uh, uh, I'm going to go with the chickmunks. Gets another one. I'm going to give the win on this one, Jess. Chipmunks. Jeremy. Kevin! <laughs> yeah, chipmunks all fucking day. <clears throat> and Andy. Chipmunks. Seven to zero. Chipmunks move on to the next round. Jaren starts us off. Is it? Okay. It's the melancholy matchup. Oh no, I get to kick off the melancholy Is matchup. It? You put on the right face. And Hollis gets to finish it. So Oh! -ho! Bookends, Hollis. Let's do it. Is it the Christmas song? Oh, is it the Christmas song by Nat King Cole or Blue Christmas by Elvis? Oh. Oh. Um, I've got to go with Chet's nuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. I'm going to go with Nat King Cole all day long. I love Elvis, but that's I not one love of my favorites. I do love the Chipmunks version of this. Uh, do they do this it's not too? Not the Chipmunks version, but they're making fun of the Chipmunks where they go. Uh, no, no, no. It's not a Chipmunks version. It's it's they're making fun of the Chipmunks because apparently uh, Dave got just got finally pissed off at him. So it's act instead of chestnuts 
roasting on an open fire is chipmunks roasting on chipmunks an open fire. Oh, and the entire, entire song is like uh, recipes for, for like. <laughs> cooking, cooking chipmunks. I gotta look that up. I'm. I, it's, yeah, it's it's a funny song. It, it, it's kind of bad, but it's a funny song. Harley, Christmas song by Nat King Cole, "Blue Christmas" by Elvis. Blue Christmas by Elvis. Gets a vote. Uh, I'm gonna go classic on this one again. It's one of the songs that I I I can actually find myself just kind of humming along to, and that is the Christmas song by Nat King Cole. Definitely deserves my vote on this one. Jess. Blue Christmas by Elvis, a Christmas song, Nat King Cole. I'm going with Blue Christmas. Jeremy? Yeah, I think on this one, we're going to have to go with the uh, fried chicken and cocaine and blue ball Christmas. <laughs> Andy? Where are we at score wise right now? I'm not going to tell you. We don't tell people that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. If, okay. If one, if one already won, I, I, I would let you know. But yeah. uh, since it still matters. So nobody has won. More. Okay, gotcha. Nobody's Nat won. Nat King Cole, for sure. I love Blue Christmas by Elvis. I really do. But, but Nat King Cole, I think that song is like irreplaceable in the Christmas music world. Which means it is a tie-breaking decision coming down to Hollis. Okay. Um, I love melancholy, right? We know this. We know it is. Uh, so I have been uh, thinking while you guys have been answering, what is melancholy? What, what, which one fits the description better? I think Blue Christmas falls a little bit more on the sad side. Not necessarily melancholy. A little bit more just like on the nose. This is sad. Well, um, the Christmas song kind of buries the sad in like a, like a plexiglass layer of like happy. So I like that. It's perfect melancholy conditions. We're gonna go with Nat King Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving up there. <laughs> she fits it for you on that one. Christmas on four to three to the next round. Sharon starts us off. Yes. Is it hard candy? Is it hard candy Christmas or another off? I'm sorry, you were a little jaggedy on the second song. What's the second song? Is it Hard Candy Christmas or Run Run Rudolph? Ah, oh, Run Run. Okay, okay. Um, I, I, I got. I love Hard Candy Christmas. I gotta go with Dolly on that one. I just, it's, it's a great song. It's a great, great song. Dolly gets a vote. Harley. I have to go with Dolly, but Freddie, actually, I think it was my turn to start because she did the last round. Exactly. Strong I thought about that later. I, oh, I thought I'm, it was I'm weird. Sorry. I was starting I, over I, again. I must, I just didn't do the check mark. I do apologize about that. I'm still, I'm just still, I'm still elated that the entire, um, um, that Hollis found room in her heart. To vote for Michael Buble, <laughs> so it's clouding my judgment and character. You know what? You know oh. what? Um, so it's funny that you think that orders matter today, considering that he used orders to cheat my vote to Michael fucking Buble. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't at you. I promise. You're 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 wonderful. That wasn't Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, so Hard Candy Christmas gets another vote. I, I'm a fan of Dolly too. I'm also a fan of Chuck Berry. Uh, and as far as the iconicness of either one of these songs, I still think Run Run Rudolph is more of an iconic song than Hard Candy Christmas, and it's a lot more well known than Hard Candy Christmas and the wider circle of things. So I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt uh, to. Run, run, Rudolph on this one, and it's a little bit—it's a little happier too, a little bit more of a poppy, uh, definitely happy poppy song to it. So, gets my vote. Jess, uh, Run, Run, Rudolph, or uh, Hard Candy Christmas? I'm gonna go with Hard Candy Christmas. Hard Candy Christmas gets a vote. Jeremy, 
Uh, fuck. Well, I guess on this one, I'll have to give the handicapable reindeer a fucking win here and fucking say, run, run, Rudolph. Santa wants to play with your dingling. Gets a vote. Andy, is it run, run, Rudolph? Or hard candy Christmas? Can I do whatever? <laughs> do whatever. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a pick <clears throat> on Hollis Day. Okay. I'm going to steal Hollis's vote because I already know what they're going to vote for. And I want Run Run Rudolph to win. <laughs> I can honestly say I, I did not. I didn't see that. <laughs> I like the How do you vote against Dolph? For Christmas, okay? <laughs> She voted against Dolly. I mean, I, I did it. I She's a singer run for Rudolph. crying out loud. She's I the know. leader of her people. <laughs> Those Appalachians so, are real fucking people to mess with. She buys books for Hollis. kids that are usually banned. Hollis. Hollis has gotten her vote stolen twice. Mm, twice. Nobody has blown their load. Uh, next up, Harley. Getting back on the road on this one. Is it Let It Snow by of Ella Fitzgerald or uh, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch? Um, you're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Get to vote. I'm going give it, to give it to um, Mean One as well. Again, the lyrics alone just are phenomenal. I love this song. Uh, I will listen to the entire book. When my when my son was to bed, uh, instead of me reading because I can't do the character voices and shit like that, so I I'll, I'll go on Spotify and just find books and stuff to for him to listen to as he falls asleep. Um, how the Grinch stole Christmas is one of his favorites, and it has that song in it, and it, it's absolutely where it's at on that one. Jess, mean one, Mister Grinch, or let it snow. Mean one, Mister Grinch. Gets another one, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, Freddie, I kind of want to fuck you with a 20 foot pole on this one, but I Sounds will say easy. that it's it's entertaining. Thank you. Only fans, only fans, bachelor edition coming soon. But unlike when Chris Long Farley thinks up his jacket, unlike, unlike when Chris Farley thinks up his jacket on Saturday Night Live, we're not gonna let it snow. We're gonna go for the Grinch. Get to vote and the win on that one, Andy. Grinch. I like that one. It's fun. I love Ella, but like, I like that one. It's a fun Christmas song I can pick on my daughter with. Oh, you know, I think, uh, I think today specifically, the reason I am going to choose Ella is because <laughs> she's nice and I like her today. I'm like, Andy. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's picking on Hollis, but <clears throat> hey, I I found the perfect per perfect opportunity to do it. Let's just sometimes you can't say no. You Jared, broke the yourself. rules. We all know it. We all saw it. <laughs> oh, the weather outside is frightful. I was but gonna say, fire is so delightful. This is no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Yes. That's my vote. I mean, Freddie, what the hell are you saying sometimes you just can't say no? And, for, and you put maybe it's cold outside in here? What the fuck are you implying, Tay? <laughs> sometimes I just can't say no. I mean, sometimes I don't I want to say can. no. I start this month. I never could have been <laughs> And it's either Feliz Navidad. Or Little St. Nick, uh, Police Navidad moving on 70 to 0, and Little St. Nick moving on 5 to 2. I'm going to go to Police Navidad on this one for the same reasons that, that applied in the past. Um, not only my reasons, but your guys' reasons too. I, I, I agree with it. So, gets my vote. Jess, Police Navidad or Little St. Nick? Police Navidad. Get another one, Jeremy. 
oh, you know, I gotta go with the people who don't even know what fuck snow is and go with Little Saint Nick, California, and all There's that. There's snow down in Mexico. On the, the mountains, beach boys weren't in Mexico. Down. The beach boys weren't in Mexico. They were in fucking California. Oh, so you're going with California. Little Saint Nick? Okay. Yeah. And there is snow in California. Uh, not where they were. They were on the beach. Jeremy's vote with the Beach Boys right there, Little Saint Nick, is the first vote against Police Navidad. That one, Andy, Little Saint Nick or Police Navidad? Uh, for my own personal nostalgia reasons, Little Saint Nick gets another one. Hollis. Police Navidad because it's war now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I did. Look sure. what I created. <laughs> Who is it? Sharon. Oh. oh, it's my turn. I thought it was Harley's turn. I'm watching the I'm watching the okay. No, I'm gonna go with the Beach Boys as well. I I voted for, for Lee Navidad the first well, I voted for both these songs in the first round, actually, but I'm I'm a I'm a sucker for the harmonies, so I got to go with uh, the Beach Boys on this one. It is Little Saint Nick and Felice Navidad in a tie-breaking decision. Harley gets this option. Uh, since we know who's facing in the next round, or I know at least, uh, do you want this option? No, I'm good. It's Felice Navidad. Felice Navidad. <laughs> In a four to three decision on that one, Jess starts this one off to finish out round two. Is it White Christmas by Frank Sinatra, moving on seven to zero, or Santa Baby by Eartha Kitt, five to two? I'm going with Santa Baby. It's the first vote against White Christmas on that one. Jeremy. Uh. I got to go with Santa Baby because Eartha Kitt just wants to have a white Christmas all over. <laughs> Andy. I got to not go after him next time I'm in one of these because it's literally brain melting. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm, That's I'm, why I'm, I don't go after him baby. anymore. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You can go I, would, uh, you go I mean, me. Did you notice when, when he said that every one of us females shook our head <laughs> to his comment? When I made this list, I was sitting there going, it's like, okay, who is the most likely to be least offended or least shook by Jeremy? And uh, I've, I've, I've picked on Hollis enough. Uh, you guys are more <laughs> so than you, welcome you, to. I, you, I'm, I'm, you've chosen me for this torture and, is what you're saying. And I well, it was through process of, of elimination. Harley hasn't been on in, in a while, and I, I love her in comments. Um, oh, I love it. And Sharon, like, <laughs> I really don't. I don't want to start some kind of like international incident. <laughs> hey, hey! The people of Sweden love so, Maniacal Music Music. Thank you. The Rings don't lie. Realistically, since you're one of the coolest people I know. Uh -huh. Um, I put you Thanks, under buddy. Jeremy. I, I appreciate See, he has help. to cover his ass. Apparently, I'm not one of the coolest people that he knows. Yeah, I feel but offended, you, Freddie. You told him I feel offended. Jeremy, so. I feel okay. offended, Freddie. Um, but I'm back now. I got the, the virus out. Um, so it's White Christmas and Santa Baby, right? Yes. yes. Yep. Frank Sinatra versus Eartha Kitt. Oh, okay. Um, I I really like Eartha Kitt, Santa Baby, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do Frank Sinatra this time. Vote for Frank. Blue, blue, blue eyes. eyes gets to vote. Hollis. Uh. So S Frank Sinatra was not the first to do White Christmas, and I don't think he was the best either. Um, but like. With, with Eartha Kitt, like Santa Baby, there's so many reasons why I'm into that. First of all, Eartha Kitt's ghost could still get it. 
<laughs> second of all, um, <laughs> uh, the concept really of like, yes, Santa, I've been good all year. Buy me a convertible. <laughs> I'm like, yes, get your money. <laughs> Santa baby. Get it. Santa's a good sugar dad. Santa's a good sugar daddy. Yeah. Right. I mean, he only shows up once so, a year, so it's a it's a little like one sided sometimes. Yeah. I've been sending pictures all year, and I haven't heard from him. So like, it's we're working on it. He went out for cigarettes. <laughs> he, had to he, went out for cigarettes. <laughs> he went out for cigarettes. He didn't come back for a year, you know. Well, I mean, you you kind of figure he 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 has multiple hoes all year long. Is it by the time he hits Christmas, he only has three? At least three. <laughs> He calls them by name. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> One. Oh, oh, oh. Two. <laughs> oh, oh. Where's, dude, where oh, is Q so when we need him to do the entire vampire voice? Here's that one. Okay, so you're going to stand up. He's sleeping that? right now. Do you want me to go wake him up? No. God, no. 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 God, no. Anyway, Hollis. If you, if you name it. Is that I, I can is go that get him for you. Hollis, officially, is that White Christmas or Santa Baby? Uh, Santa Baby. Santa Baby gets a vote. Finally. There. I did not uh, vote for Eartha Kit last time because of I, I really like the song that she was up against. But this time, it's not difficult at all for me to choose her over Frank Sinatra. So I'm going to go with Eartha Kit. Well, Sharon, I thought we were buddies. Santa Baby gets the vote and the win on that one, Harley. Talking about you stole Sharon. <laughs> me and you, Sharon. It's me and you. <laughs> I'm booking a flight tomorrow. I have a couch ready. <laughs> You're well. Hey, I got I got a bed. You're welcome. Ooh, moving fast for me. I don't know, Sharon. No, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I have a a bed instead of a couch for you to sleep on. I'd have to toss the wife in order to make space for you in my own bed. So, hey, I mean, like, the, I could bring my upside down pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> this is going a whole other direction now. It is one of my favorite fruits. I have to admit. I'm I, I'm really glad that joke is coming back. That's. <laughs> Okay, um, Karen, though, it, uh, you, you went with Santa Baby on that one. Harley? I did. Was it White Christmas? Is it White Christmas or Santa Baby? It's White Christmas. You seem like you're... Uh, Jesus. I'm going to finish this one out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go... I'm going to go Santa Baby on this one. Uh, let's say sex and Santa usually de <laughs> doesn't mix, but... I've seen some of those uh, some of those Miss Santa Santa costumes, so I'll go with that one. That is the end of the second round. We'll be right back with round three and beyond. Uh, myself, Andy, and Hollis has all stolen a vote. Th those are no longer in play. For Jess, Jeremy, Sharon, and Harley, these next four matchups are your last time to steal a vote. Oh, okay. Uh, other than that, blowing the loads, uh, everybody still still has those. And Jeremy's going to be starting this one off. So, speak for yourself with the load. Welcome back for round three and beyond. Listen, Jeremy starts us off on this one. Is it uh, the Hawaiian Christmas song or Run Run Rudolph? Hmm. <laughs> the reason for my Grinch smile is. I'm stealing Freddie's vote. There you go, Hollis. Pay back to bitch for him. And I am giving him the run Rudolph run because I'm making sure the Hawaiian Christmas song doesn't move on. Now that I won't say it, yeah. <laughs> he gets a vote. Andy. Two, two okay, votes. Well, Sorry, I, Andy. I kind of already knew which song I wanted to vote for. Um and 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 um, now specifically because of the voice that preceded mine on this particular podcast, I want to change my vote. Um, oh. <laughs> I knew I could stole yours. I knew it. Ah, but no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to let 
not going to let the outside forces persuade me to change my mind. I'm just going to go with it. Run, run, Rudolph. I still love that song. Get the vote. Hollis. I got to go for my like a lady maca. I really, I really, really love the Andrew sisters. They are like, I probably sing their songs at least five times a year rent free. <laughs> It is one of those songs that gets stuck in your head too, because mm -hmm. it's just it's one of those like beach type songs that you just kind of want to sway along to. And and Iowa is super cold right now. Well, not super cold, but it's still fucking winter, so uh, it's a good feeling to have. Sharon, Run Run Rudolph or Hawaiian uh, Christmas song. I'm gonna go with um, Melakaliki Maka, even though I know there's not much of a chance we're gonna get to force you to try to say it. Tell you what, uh, I do love the song. Uh, if it reaches, if it wins, yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to write it out. But uh, if it wins, phonetically, I will try. <laughs> and I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna apologize right now to every fucking islander out there because I'm going to All fuck this islands. up because <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> All the islands, even. Around Hawaii or not, around the island. Manhattan. The I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Manhattan. <laughs> yeah. Goose Island vodkas. Yeah, I don't want to. There's that too. Um, Ellis Island. <laughs> Ellis Island. Harley, is it Hawaiian Christmas song, Run Under Dog? Hawaiian Christmas song. Which means it is a tie breaking decision. Coming, coming down to me. Um, no, not come down you to you. No, yours was stolen. Your vote was no, stolen. Was stolen, so it comes down to me, yes. fool. Yes, yes. Sorry, I, I did. I didn't cross out Jeremy's name. Um, Jess, it's a Hawaiian Christmas song. And run, run, Rudolph. Run, run, Rudolph. Saving my ass. You're welcome. I really run, run, Rudolph moves on four to three really to the final four. Run, run, Rudolph. Andy starts this off. I, I was so excited for the sun to shine by day and the stars at night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's been a long time. <laughs> <time. laughs> we're drinking did you, coffee. Did you like spike your coffee or something? Yeah. I don't know what I don't know which one to give her. Uh, um, I'm gonna give her a softball on this one. Is it the Christmas song by Nat King Cole or Santa Baby by Eartha Kitt? I would have given her Run Run Rudolph. <laughs> I don't. The other two matchups are worse. I'm blowing my load. There it is. She squirted Jenny, her gun. Holly. Yeah, I just or, got my beer. Christmas. I have Holly on the brain. Uh, Hollis. <laughs> is it the Christmas oh. song by Nat King Cole or Santa the kid? Uh, Nat King Cole is going to have to win this one. Like, that's, 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 uh, that is the classicest of all the classicest Christmas song, songs. Like, uh, he wins Christmas. He just does. <laughs> Karen, is it Santa Baby or uh, the Christmas song? I'm um, gonna have to go with uh, with Hollis on this one. I also feel like Nat King Cold is um, is is one of one of the top three voices of the season. So it's gonna be Nat King Cole for me. What color should suitcase should I have? <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you, Sharon. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be Nat King Cole, too. Uh -huh. See, Harley's on board. Yes, another one. I just, just so in hopes that we give Andy a tie breaking decision on this one, I'm going to go with Santa Baby. Um, because I've, I've, 
I've screwed with Hollis way too much in this episode. <laughs> I kind of want to pass the buck, buck to Andy, even though that she's had to go after Jeremy this entire time. So, this whole Jess, time. is it uh, is it the Christmas song by Nat King Cole or Santa Baby by Eartha Kitt? Santa Baby. So, the man that you offended earlier. Your your vote is kind of in his hands. Jeremy, is this a tie-breaking decision for Andy? Do it. Oh, you better believe it fucking is, because Earth can take and ride down my chimney, up my chimney, and down my chimney, and up my chimney all fucking day. Ow. Jesus. You're not Santa. <laughs> I can role play. Yeah, but I got a cane pull for it. Nobody so. wants to see that. <laughs> I can yes. think of a you lot of adjectives for you, but Jolly, you know. As for Santa, as for Santa. No. You don't even know exactly where all the states are, so how can you be Santa? The, the, just because you only come once a year does not make you Santa, all right? <laughs> Look up, Bob. Talk about my love life, <laughs> Santa. <laughs> All right, Andy. Tie breaking decision, and we don't know who's facing in the final four, so I can't have that option. I this was supposed to be helpful, and instead I blew my load, and now I'm experiencing more anxiety, and I don't like that. That's backwards. What <laughs> <laughs> happened to me? No, nope, it's a curse. <laughs> Welcome to coming after me. Um, okay, so for all of the reasons previously mentioned, Santa Baby is sexy Santa iconic, right? And then Nat King Cole is like like you he wins Christmas. Yeah. So can they just like into one song and call that the winner? Is that is that I mean, oh, they, no. they, they, they probably, they probably it don't work that, that way. way. All I mean, right. Imagine Nat King Cole. Imagine Nat King Cole singing Santa Baby. Oh, oh yes. Ah, oh, fuck me up, Nat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I ship it. Um, <laughs> Nat King Cole. I, I think I think that's where I'm gonna land. Nat King Cole. The King of Christmas. Tiebreaker for nothing. Ah. <laughs> the, the Christmas song moves on to the final four of Christmas songs. It's Hollis crazy. starts us off. Is it? I'm sorry. Both of these are really hard. Uh, both of these are really difficult. Giggity. Giggity. You're right the first time. Is it? Have yourself a merry little Christmas by Judy Garland, or your mean one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> the other one's worse, so. I will fuck you again then. For me, it's not that hard. Judy, Judy is is my queen, my my leader, my my spiritual Sherpa. <laughs> <laughs> When the ancestors speak to you, do they speak with Judy Garland's voice? Um, I mean, she acts as their message delivery system. Okay. <laughs> but yes, uh, Judy, all the way. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Get a vote on this one, Sharon. Um, I gotta, I gotta hang with Hollis on this one. I haven't, and plus, I haven't voted for the Grinch yet, and I see no point in starting now. So I'm going to go with Judy Garland on this one. <laughs> Get Andy, one, Harley. Okay. Mm. I'm going to go with Mr. Grinch. I'm also going to go with Mr. Grinch on this one. Jess. Mr. Grinch. Jeremy. What's Mr. What's the Grinch against again? Um, Have yourself a very merry little Christmas. Because I love screwing with 
Andy with with I love screwing with Andy as much as possible. Voting for one of these, a certain one of these, I'm not gonna tell you which one, will push it to a tie-breaking decision. I know which one. I know which one. And I mean, I am Jeremy. I love screwing with every woman of the female variety, but it's my nature. It's my place in the animal kingdom. But I have to make sure Grinch wins it, so I don't give a fuck. It's Mr. Grinch. And if I only got laid once a year, Friday, I would be the fucking Grinch. So, nah, nah. <laughs> With that, Mean One moves on, but Andy, avoiding a tie-breaking decision, is it Mean One or uh, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas? I have voted for Grinch all the way up, and I, I, I'm gonna, I'm, I know we already won, but I'm gonna vote Judy Garland on this one. I was hoping you were gonna set that one up for a tiebreaker. I wanted Judy to win. <clears throat> I, she, I know you did. That's the reason I'm, I'm trying, trying to help. She won after <laughs> Most of the time, it's it's not hard to get uh, Jeremy to do certain things, but Grinch moves on four to three. <laughs> Christmas no, not, moves on no, four to three. Run Run Rudolph moves on four to three. Last matchup in the quarterfinals. This is the last time to steal a vote. Uh, Sharon starts us off. Is it uh, Christmas Don't Be Late by the Chipmunks or Feliz Navidad? Oh, have mercy. Um, no, no, the words are fuck you, Freddy. <laughs> the, uh, oh, this is our fault, not Freddy's. It's always Freddy's fault, damn it! Yeah, I've, I, I've, the, one of the cool things about having the ability to see the board, and I, I've, I have given the board away just to at least one person in this group. Um, mm -hmm. That I can kind of map on uh, how to get votes to go a certain way. I'm I'm happy with the three, yeah, three that we have so far. Ready. Personally, I, I would have ready. wished uh, Hawaiian move on, but I'm glad mm -hmm. since I, I made the of saying that I would try to say it. Uh, mm -hmm. I had Run Run Rudolph went on instead. However, I did say that these two were be like the hardest one for me to choose from. Mm. So, okay. So. Well, I I think I'm going to I've I've kind of been a big fan of the chipmunks and I'm kind of hoping we're gonna to get to hear Andy sing about the hula hoop one more time before before we're done here today. So I'm gonna vote for the chipmunks. This is your last time to steal a vote if you would like to. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna see how it plays out. Okay. But thanks for reminding me. I'm going to steal Freddie's vote for Hollis, um, and I'm going to vote for the Chipmunks. That is perfectly okay with me. I would have gone with the chip, uh, Chipmunks as well. Like um, <laughs> I I do like Lisa Navidad, but when you when you think of the Chipmunks, uh, a majority of the time, one of the first things that comes to your head is Christmas. And and I, I would have voted for the chipmunks because of you. So there's that. Jess, chipmunks, please not be done. I'm voting for the chipmunks because of my husband. With that gift, <laughs> the win. And so is the Jeremy. dog. <laughs> Jeremy. Yeah, it, it, Apparently it, my it, dogs it, agree with me. Yes. Jeff yeah. said chipmunks, and the dogs went, where? Yes. Uh, uh, I am going to go with chipmunks, too, just because, I mean, what Sharon said, Andy singing about a hula hoop has a whole new meaning in my head. <laughs> Send me right round. Uh, Andy, speaking of. Yeah. Chipmunks. I wonder which one I'm going to Oh, definitely. I chipmunk. still need a final answer. She's giving chipmunk. It. Final answer. And Hollis, finish this out. You know, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, chipmunks. Um, but <laughs> I think it's got like a, it's 
more it's a more complex emotion one's just like merry christmas in two languages which is very great i love it it's wonderful and then the chipmunks are like for a six-year-old that's like the deepest emotions you feel all year <laughs> bingo being well, so good and i'm not gonna make it much longer i just want my hula hoop please <laughs> giggity the final four uh four to three four to three four to three and wow seven to zero make that one up harley starts us off uh all the steal of votes are gone so you can't steal the votes anymore but uh everybody with exception of andy can still blow their load at, after this point harley <clears throat> is it um i'm gonna let you choose out of one of these four is it chipmunks grinch run run rudolph or the christmas song um grinch Grinch. Okay, your your choice to start this one off. Is it You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch versus The Christmas Song by Nat King Cole? Both of these are split votes. Mr. Grinch. Grinch gets a vote on that one. I The Grinch is a very, very fun song. I enjoy singing it, but if you if you want to go what you think about when you think Christmas and the holidays and family for a, a lot of people. I know a lot of people don't have the option of family ar around Christmas. Um, the Christmas song as melancholy as it is, is still a rather uplifting song when you, when you hear it for me, it will be getting my vote. Yes. Is it the Grinch? Or the Christmas song. I'm going with the Grinch. It's a vote. Yeah. Jeremy. <clears throat> I am going for the Grinch simply because I love the reels of the Grinch dancing in random places. Andy. Yeah, so let's just excuse the entire fact that Nat King Cole is the king of fucking Christmas and let's watch the Grinch stand around in his underwear. That sounds so much more logical. Hey, <laughs> if I'm saying Grinch's underwear, underwear? Merry Christmas. Does he wear underwear or does he just, is he pantless or am I thinking of Winnie the Pooh? I mean, I don't, I'm not sure I mean, the no, Grinch he, wears pants. Win, Winnie the Pooh is pantless. Uh, Winnie the Pooh pants yeah. goes on, goes on Mickey Mouse. Um, I think the Grinch is he, also pantless. They're both pantsless. No, they, uh, no, he's not. Because if you watch the 2018 Grinch, his fur furnace is his pants. His furnace right. is his pants. Yeah, his his his, his, his furriness that he's wearing is his pants. His furriness. Okay. Yeah, his furriness. Like he's big cream. It's the only I, way I can describe it. Okay. That. Okay, I forgot what I was talking about. I'm sorry. Matt <laughs> King Cole. I've been talking about pantless. I'm Nat like, King why are we Cole talking about the class? I have no idea. Nat King Cole is the point I'm trying to make here. <laughs> Hollis, Everybody's thinking about that big green song. The Christmas <laughs> song of the Grinch. Um, don't fall for the peer pressure. And I mean theirs. Fall for mine. <laughs> <laughs> but she was mean to you, remember? We weren't. Look, okay, I'm still I'm still thinking of like a a smoky rich baritone singing Santa Baby to me. <laughs> so like I think that King Cole's gonna have to take this one. Like <laughs> like I'll, I'll be your Santa. <laughs> I I'm 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 sorry. I, I <laughs> we're gonna have to AI. No, we're not apologize. <laughs> it is a tie-breaking decision coming down to Sharon. Is it uh the your mean one, Mr. Grinch, or or Nad King Cole's the Christmas song? Well, first of all, I'm looking Thanks to the Google, which is a series of tubes. I'm looking at. Same Google, same. <laughs> I am looking at an image of the Grinch from the original 1966 cartoon special, and he has on no pants. No so pants. So there, no pants on the Grinch. But look up. Look up the 2018 number badge version of it. I don't care about there is 2018. A scene where he's putting like he's <laughs> going through his... No, 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 Freddie. No. 
I'm going with the original, Just and playing. he has on no pants. <laughs> but Nat King. It's pantless Grinch for the win, and Nat King Cole gets my oh. vote. Woo, Sharon! I got you, Andy. Yeah. Look, we're all friends again. I love it. <laughs> I'm so glad. I was worried. The Christmas song moves on to the next round. <laughs> Uh, in a split vote between two split votes, I start this one off, and I I will be blowing my load. So, Jess, is it Run Run Rudolph or the Chipmunk song? Oh. Chipmunk song. Gets a vote, Jeremy. Get back in your stall where you belong, you fucking hitty hit my reindeer. Fucking Chipmunk song all day. <laughs> Going against Chuck Berry on that one. Uh, Andy, Chipmunk song, Run Run Rudolph. Santa, tell him, hurry, tell him, he can take the freeway down. Da, 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 da. Run Run Rudolph. It's so fun. I love the chipmunks and I love the hula hoop, but Run Run Rudolph. Sorry. Is that your final? That is my final <laughs> answer. Within the final four, that is the first vote against the Christmas song. Or, sorry, the Chipmunk song. The Chipmunk song. Yeah, uh, that is the first vote against it during this entire show. So, um, we can't bl blame Q for the longest running, uh, ruining the, the, the longest one Crushed anymore. It. Because officially, officially Andy has the longest running... Um, ruining a spot. And that's yeah. how I feel too. Paulus, <laughs> <laughs> chipmunk song or run, run, Rudolph. Okay. Um, um, so I think is like a, a human and 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 the the chipmunks are not really so like i hate humans so <laughs> he um, hates me the I chipmunks <laughs> no i love chuck berry chuck berry is the exception the chipmunks <laughs> final answer sure. chipmunks i will have to pick up the hula hoop i guess <laughs> <laughs> You failed her. You and failed her. Forward, pick up the gauntlet. <laughs> it's the chipmunks. For sure. With the vote and the win on that one, Harley. Well, I agree with Hollis. I don't like people, so I'm going to go with chipmunks. <laughs> I... It's up you, Sharon. <laughs> yes. Um, and Frey Blues are for nothing. <laughs> oh. Damn. What okay. are you confused about? Um, <laughs> no, I'm just, there's so many jokes. I'm going to go with Chipmunks as well, though, in six to one. Chipmunks move on to the finals. Third place. Jeff starts us off. Is it uh, Run Run Rudolph or the Grinch? The Grinch. Grinch gets a vote on that one. Jeremy. Yeah, I'm going to skin that fucking handy keep for radio and eat him. So it's fucking the Grinch. Andy. Deer Jerky is amazing. I just way. had it. I just had venison jerky. That's fucking awesome. Um, I, 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 uh, uh, my, I'm stopping. My brain's not working anymore. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't like this one. This shouldn't be this difficult. Why did we do this to ourselves? What were we thinking? Run, run, Rudolph. I'm going to stick with it. I wanted to win. It's probably my favorite one ever. Well, this is the third place. So I know. 
So, so oh, it's not going to go any further than that. It's still Run Run Rudolph for me. It does not matter. I'm still voting Run Run Rudolph. <laughs> I wanted it to win, and third place is as good as it gets than third place it gets. Hollis, is it Run Run Rudolph or uh, you're a mean one? I mean, I feel like somebody needs to stand up for the handicapable reindeer of the world <laughs> because because I feel like this is verging on eugenics, uh, Jeremy. They're um, easier to catch. They're easier to catch than the regular reindeer. <laughs> so run, run, Rudolph, Chuck Berry, he got me. I mean, Jeremy does have a point on that one. Cause if if Santa didn't take in. Um, Rudolph, like I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have, he or she wouldn't have survived because a hunter out there would have, would have seen that blinking light and just gone straight for it. Okay, savior so, complex. Like, like, what I if, mean, like, think about what if he wasn't there? Then how would, how would Santa have gotten through that fog? They're, those, those reindeers don't have like fog lights installed on their toes. So they say each other, Mr. Santa could have just Santa could have just postponed Christmas a day. No. Well, speak, speak of postponing Christmas. <laughs> it's not <laughs> worked that way. Speak of postponing Christmas. You clearly got... don't live with children. <laughs> I, I do. So speak of Hey, we gotta wrap this up though, because I gotta yeah. get going. Yeah, speaking of kids, I gotta yeah. wrap this up too. I gotta get going. Um, what up, guys? What up, buddy? Say hi. Anyway, um, that's two to two. So, Sharon, uh, run, run, Rudolph for the Grinch. I'm feeling a little bit guilty about the fact that I have not voted for the Grinch yet tonight. So, um, and um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Grinch this time, just because I haven't voted for for him yet. And I, I do like the Grinch. I'm feeling a little guilty that I've kind of shut the Grinch out. Pantless Grinch all you know all night. Now, now I'm gonna give him a vote. Harley. At the Grinch. Gets a fourth and a fifth vote. Uh five to two moves on. Jeremy starts us off as the last time to use a use your bl uh, blowing of loads. Jess, Jeremy, Hollis, Sharon, and Harley still have that option. But Jeremy, is it uh the chipmunk song or the Christmas song? Oh, I don't need to blow my load on this fucking shit. It's the fucking chipmunk song all day. Come on. It's the number one Christmas song ever. Fuck Nat King Cole. It's the number one Christmas song ever. I'm sorry. Gets a vote. I Andy. would love to. Thank you. Especially if he sang Santa Baby to me. <laughs> I'd be down for that. <laughs> <clears throat> She's a lady. I'm voting for Nat King Cole. The Christmas Gets song. It's, it's called The Christmas Song. Okay. It's in the title. Get to vote. Hollis. Winning. Uh, yes, King. <laughs> Nat King Cole. <laughs> Sharon. It's Nat King Cole for me, too. Harley. I'm going to have to go with the chipmunk song. Um, so Andy has a business we, trip on the other side of the planet. Um, <laughs> yeah. we, we, we all know because of Q, Jeff will be going for the, going for the chipmunk song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I do agree that the Christmas song, named the Christmas song, should win a Christmas song bracket. So I will be voting for that. <laughs> I love that logic. Yes, it, is it, is, it is a Christmas song by Mark King Cole or uh, the Chipmunk song by. Come on. I'm going with the Chipmunk song. We know that one. Oh, All right. Yes, thank you. From a nine cold wind, four to three. Uh, Jess, where can we find you? Behind that kid. <laughs> yeah, you can find me on Facebook under Jess Marie. 
Vandy Shrew or Instagram under Destiny93 or this podcast or being eaten by a kid zombie. So I will see you guys later because I gotta get going. Bye. Take care, Jess. Yep. Have fun. Uh, Jeremy. Jesus fucking Christ, I'll have to say that. But, um, <laughs> you can fu- you can find me on Facebook as uncensored, unapologetic, and unmotherfucking tame YouTube collector podcast group. You can find me on XX Baby and the Gram as that juggler bastard. You can find me on Tiki Talkie as that juggler bastard podcast, and you can find me on YouTube as Maniacal Music Musings, Paranormal the Normal, or streaming live on Blind Knowledge Network because all knowledge was blind and it's still blind because that was a fucking horrible choice to win this bracket. Just saying, but. I too have to go because I have to take my own little zombies uh, to go see Christmas lights. So see y'all next week when I'll be hosting. Prepare for bastards gone wrong. See you later, good riddance. Bye. Bye. <laughs> good riddance, my ass. I can't believe you were allowed to reproduce. Oh. <laughs> uh, don't call me, lady. But I'm bum. I'm Andy, and that's Hollis. We're Don't Call Me Lady, and you can find us on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram at Don't Call Me Lady Music. Mm-hmm. And you can find me seeking revenge for Judy Garland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and keep an eye out on Spotify for our uh, single release stained glass in January. Sharon. I am at the Viking Diaries.com. Com is kind of home base. I'm on Station Head, username Viking Diaries, all one word for live radio and music. And then Instagram is Viking dot Diaries. And um, I think I'm on Twitter, aka X, but not nearly as often as I used to be. Thank you, Elon Musk. So there you go. Uh. And, of course, Harley. You guys can find me on Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook with The Asylum with Harley and The Mod Squad. And I do follow you guys on Instagram. Don't call me lady. I'm going to do that right now. (laughs) I literally was just taking notes on you guys. (laughs) And I am, of course, I am your host, Freddie Fisher. You can find me at uh, uh, that on Facebook. Or on Facebook, check out Bracketology. We have two polls going up every single day. Currently, it is a Tom Hanks bracket, which was voted in by the people uh, by one vote. There was a, another one. I can't remember what the one closest to it, but uh, Tom Hanks bracket won by one vote. So, yes, every vote does count on that one. Um, that And we're doing a search for Santa bracket. Both of those are in round one. So you got plenty of time to vote on those. On uh, Twitter, you can find me. I will forever call it Twitter. I don't care. Thank you. Uh, Same. <clears throat> Fisher777, and uh, we're all at Bracket Pod. And on Instagram, you can find me at Can't Lick Me, not one word. That is our show this week, there, guys. <laughs> Next week, we are doing an entire bracket of Christmas characters from TV, movies, old cartoons, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So tune in for that one. I'll leave you guys with the simple words from the late great Jerry Springer. That is this. Take care of yourself and each other. Have Bye. A good guys. Bye. Now let's see how, how long this takes to end. And computer takes forever. Yes, end stream, you jackass. <laughs>